Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe and if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You guys, today I'm going to take you along with me as I show you some of the items that are going to be used in the next room makeover that I have coming up and that is the room makeover for my daughter's room. And I hope that I get that project done in one day once I start getting it done but it's gonna be a lot because I have a lot to go through I have clothes of hers that we're gonna to have to go through and get rid of and then uh, it's just a lot <laughs> pieces of furniture that have to come out of the room and pieces of furniture that have to be done so anyway it's a lot but today I'm gonna to show you you guys some of the things that I have for the room now you guys remember in past videos I've shown you that I usually will go out and I will collect items after I get my vision of what I want to do together then I start collecting items so I don't go out and shop all at once I pick up items as I go along and so and then I usually will put them here in my prayer room where they will be housed until I'm ready for the room makeover so I'm gonna show you guys the things that I've been collecting for my daughter's room makeover and then um, and then I have a DIY project that we're going to do as well. I don't know if I'm going to use that DIY project in her room. I don't know if I'll have room for it in there. But if I do, then I definitely will use it in her room. And if not, then I'm going to use it somewhere else. And that's Louie down here with his toy. But anyways, guys, also I want to warn you in advance that if you see boxes piled up in here, those are items for the room makeover for my mom <laughs> that I'm going to be doing. So just ignore the boxes if you see them piled up. Um, in the one corner of the room. Those are for another makeover. But anyway, guys, let's go see what I have for my daughter. Okay, guys, so this is an overview of everything <laughs> that I have collected for her room. And I will try to insert a picture to show you guys what my vision is for this room. But let's start going through some of these items. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to start with, just because it's big and you guys can see it here, is this beautiful, beautiful rug. You guys, I found this rug on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the gentleman that I got it from, his mother was an interior designer. And so this is a very, very expensive, very, very nice piece that she had. I think he said she had it imported here, but it's really pretty. And um, it's very, very nice quality for this. And you guys, I, I ended up paying $150 for this piece. And what I love about it is that it's reversible. You can use it on this side where it shows more of the pink. Or you can reverse it and use it on this side where more of the cream color. Um, but I love the tassels on the end of it. It's nice and heavy duty. And so I really, really do um, love this piece. Very pretty. Okay, guys, so this lamp is a piece that I DIY'd, and I'll insert some clips of me doing it. This lamp used to be green, and I started out by painting the base of it in this gold. And then in the video clips, you'll see where I thought I wanted the inside to be pink, but then I got an idea that I wanted to wrap it in this really pretty fur. Um, and so I switched and did the inside gold so that we have gold peeping through. And then we have this really, really pretty, um, this is yarn, you guys, actually, but it's like fur. And so I'm really happy with how this, this piece turned out. It's going to be really, really cute in her room. And it gives her that little bit of pop of glam um, there um, that I envisioned for her room. So this is really, this is the rug that I, rug, lamp that I re, that I DIY'd for her room.
Also, you guys, um, I was able to pick up, you guys know I, I love my gnomes. And so I was able to pick up this guy. Let me sit him over here so you can see him better. I was able to pick up this guy from Home Goods, and I paid $9.99 for him. And I think he was out during Christmas time or whatever, but because I always put a gnome in my kids' rooms, he's perfect for um, being in her room all the time. And so got that gnome, and I'm loving that. So another item that I picked up was this really pretty pink and gold chair. And you guys, the cushion of it is nice and velvety. I love the gold legs on it. And it is perfect to go um, at her little vanity that I DIY'd for her last year. Um, but this is going to be really cute in her room. And I picked this up from Ross and I paid $50 for this little chair. So absolutely love that. Okay, guys, I figured I would try to show you guys the rest of these things in um, like categories because when I tell you, it's, it's a lot of stuff that I've collected. But... I have a vision and I'm going to follow through. So let me show you. Let me be quick so I'm not on here talking forever. Um, the next thing I got was, I think this was one of the first things that I got for the room that I actually saw after I had my vision. And then I was out and I was like, oh, so this was the starting piece. And this is actually just a set of sheets and they are by Fresh Oasis. And it's the six piece sheet set, full size. Um, they feel so snugly, you guys. I actually picked these up from Home Goods and I paid $19.99, so 20 bucks for these sheets. And like I said, it is the full um, sheet set. It has one flat sheet, one fitted sheet. It has four pillowcases, four pillowcases, you guys. Um, and so anyways, I, I picked up the sheets. And then Justin is an alternative set for when I'm washing out her sheets. I did pick up this brown um, set here. I don't remember where I picked these up from. I'm kind of thinking that I may have picked them up from Ross or something. I'm not really sure. And um, I don't even have the price on these. But anyway, just picked up. These are just an extra pair of sheets for me to have for her when her other sheets are in the wash. So I picked that up. And then the next thing that I picked up was these pillows. And I actually got these pillows from Tuesday morning and I got two pink ones. You guys can see the color theme that we have going on. It's pink and gold and um, brown and so some creams. And so it's gonna be really pretty. But anyway, I picked up these pillows. I let, let me let it focus. Love the texture of these pillows. Just wanna add texture whenever you are decorating and you are doing pillows, it is always good to have different textures of pillows. And so I picked up these two pink ones and I don't remember how much I paid for these two pillows, um, but I also picked up this gold one and it is really pretty. And this one was $12.99, so $13 for this one um, that I picked up. And again, I got these from Tuesday morning, so. Like I said, just always make sure you mix in some textures there whenever you're, you know, doing your pillows and it always um, looks really nice. This next um, item that I got, I also, these pillow covers are actually from Amazon and I will try to um, remember, I think in the last video I linked pillow covers that I had gotten for my room makeover and they're the same, just a different color, so... Um, but these are the brown ones that I had picked up and I got them, of course. And I also got the pillow, the um, pillow forms from Amazon as well. So got those pillows for her as well. And then at Ross, I picked up this really, really pretty, um, really fluffy, pretty um, throw blanket. And... It, I picked it up again from Ross and I got it for $20. It was just 20 bucks. And it is a full slash queen size one. So you could actually use it for your bed um, spread or your com comforter, or, you know, whatever. Um, and But I'm gonna use it as an extra comforter because you guys know I like to layer. And so I will use it as an extra layer for her bed. And then also for her room, she, we already had this scalloped, um, quilted blanket and so I'll use that to layer in her bed or her bed as well. Look at the detail on that. 
So that's really pretty. So we'll use that in her room as well. And then I actually bought this comforter. Now let me see, I think, did I get this from TJ Maxx or did I get it from Ross? I picked this bedspread up from Ross. You guys, I'll let you see the picture so you can see how it has that ruffle at the bottom of it. Really, really pretty. And then it kind of has the basket weave. Um, this is really pretty bedspread. This is a three piece quilt set and it's also in the full and queen size. There's um, there's the queen quilt and then there's two standard shams that are in here that go with it as well. And again, you guys can see it. And this is by Modern Home. And again, I got this from um, Ross and it was $30 for this. So you get the quilt and then two shams. So I picked that up for her room as well. So that's the bedding. And then the last thing that I got, because you guys, I've been shopping for this room since all the way back in last year, December, and things have just been piling up. But when I was doing that, I was at the Target dollar spot and I actually found this reindeer pillow and he's white and gold. And I thought, oh, cause I, I thought I was gonna get the room done back then, but I didn't. But I will just put this up and let her have this for Christmas, um, this Christmas coming up, along with these really cute um, Christmas trees. So these are small fabric trees with the wooden stand. Those are gonna be really cute, but I just thought I'd show you those. You'll see them again. We have a long ways to go before these will get used, but I'll put these up in her room so we can use them for Christmas because that's gonna add a really nice um, pop of Christmas. So that's all the bedding so let's move on to the next items that i want to show you guys showed you guys the gnome and so now i want to show you guys some decor pieces that i picked up for her room of course i got her this really pink um cute pink waste basket let me take this stuff out of it so you guys can see really good oops all right, so I got this pink waist basket and I picked this up from TJ Maxx and it was $5.99. So six bucks for this waist basket for her room. You know, just picking up little items as you go along. This little decor piece, again, because I love gnomes and she has to have one in her room. They actually had these at the Target dollar spot during Christmas. Um, so I picked him up to put on her shelf and I paid, how much was this guy? A dollar, just a dollar for him. So cute. And then, oh, also from the Target dollar spot, um, they had these tiered trays, and I paid $5 for this one, but I thought this would be really cute in her room. I'll let you guys see what I'm going to do with this, because I bet you can't guess, but I also picked that up for her room. So cute. I'm excited about that. And then, another decor, decor piece, Ooh, dropping stuff that I picked up for her room. My daughter has this these white shelves in her room and I just wanna decorate them with the pretty soft pinks and gold and clear, like glass clear, you know, items. So I found this um, beautiful candle and you guys, it smells amazing. And then the gold wording on the front says, love never fails. And I love this and I actually found this at Home Goods, and it was $9.99, $10 for this candle. Um, but it's nice, it's a generous size. It smells so good. I was trying to see if the fragrance, it's called Rose, um, Rose Ganache, Ganache, Rose Ganache. I don't know if that's, I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I did get her that candle. And then also as another decor piece that I picked up, got this from Home Goods, and I actually paid $4.99 for this, but it's gold and then pink on the inside. And then once again, you guys will see what I do with this. Some of these items are just for sitting on those shelves and just making them look really glam and pretty. And then once again from Home Goods, I picked this up this little and I love how it has that little diamond look she's into diamonds these days and I'm okay with it as long as they're fake <laughs> not getting into the real diamonds yet with the obsession she has with them right now but I got this and it was $5.99 again from home goods and this is going to be really really pretty sitting in her room 
so it's just a mix of textures and colors. You don't, I just, this is, she's a teenager. She's getting ready to be um, 15. And um, so I just want to change her room up some and make it look more of teenager going from 15 to 18. And, um, and I want to use pinks, but I don't want it to be little girl pink. I want it to be, you know, teenage, even woman pink. And so to do that, I'm mixing textures and I'm mixing colors. So some clear colors mixed with the golds and then of course the pink, and that's just gonna give it more of that glam big girl look. I also, this is so neat you guys, but I also found this and I picked this because my daughter was really in to the Celestials and um, all of the different, and so this has all of the different um, signs on it, but it's the, stars that if you actually look up um, into the heavens and see them. Um, so I picked this up for her and it's sectioned and I just think this is gonna look absolutely gorgeous sitting in her room. So that's another decor piece that I picked up for her room. This is all now, you know, the items for the bed and then of course the rug to ground everything. And now all of these pieces are the decor pieces that are gonna add the pops of color throughout her room. So I also picked up, well, I didn't pick this up. This is from an old candle that I had from, um, from um, Bath and Body Works. And then of course I picked up this little spray and I think I got this, it's just a faux plant, you guys. I, I think I picked this up from Target but I'm not even really sure where I got this from. I've been collecting plants. I think it was at the Target dollar spot, but I'm not 100%. But anyway, I figured if I layered it in there and did that, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint this or not. The verdict is still out on that, but I may. So we'll see when we do the room. You'll see if that got painted. So that's another decor piece. And then you guys, this is from the Target dollar spot. I paid $3 for this. Is that cute or what? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Just a little green and it looks so real. So I picked that up to go in her room as well. And then some other decor pieces that I picked up for her. I actually was again at the Target dollar spot and this is actually a waterless oil aroma diffuser. So instead of using water in it, you use oil in it. And um, it's a diffuser and they had it in pink. So I got that for her room also. And then you guys, I picked up this cute little, it's the little bunny, again, the little um, faux plant. So I picked that up and I'm sure they had it out. This is from the Target Dollar Spot as well. It was $5 and I'm sure it was out for Easter. Super early, cause I've had this for a while, but it's still gonna be cute in her room no matter what. And then I also got this $3 from the Target Dollar Spot. Look how dainty this is. It's really pretty in pink. It's not showing up on camera um, exactly the way it is, but, and it smells good too. It's called Crisp Gingham. And so I just thought this would be a really cute addition to sit in her room as well. And then another thing I got was these really cute little bud vases. And this was $3 as well. And they are also in the pink. So this is gonna be so cute. Oh, I actually got, Oh no, I didn't know that one. And then again, you guys, oh my gosh, they don't have these anymore at Target. I wish they did. They are $3 for a pick. Um, but I got this white, wispy, fun one. It was only $3. And then I got two of these pink ones. Look at this, you guys. Are these beautiful or what? So pretty. And these, and again, they were $3 a piece at the Target dollar spot. So I had to get those for her as well. Um, so I got those items. We put all this stuff in here in the bag. And then guys, we're moving on to some other pieces that I picked up for the shelving, some storage, but in a decorative way. These are like books. These bottom two are, and then this top one, I'll show it to you, is just a little storage box, but this is gonna be so good for her to store you know, all of her little um, items in that she likes to keep up with her 
um, pencils that she likes to draw with or even some of her smaller tablets that she writes um, poems and, and lyrics to music in. I thought that was really cute. I picked this up from Ross and it was $3.99. So let me see. $3.99 from Ross. But this is just again with the pinks and the golds and then these two books for the shelves these are absolutely gorgeous for the shelves you guys look it would be so cute with something you know you like just to style it like this or something i don't know exactly how i'm gonna style it but i'm so excited but you guys look it's storage once again it's storage for her to be able to hide some of her items in as well as the the big one so it's storage so anytime you can kill two birds with one stone you have decor but then along with that decor you have storage and so i got those and i'm excited about those items then this item i picked up from ross as well and i just thought this would be really cute this is one of those um boards the a letter board and i just thought i don't know what cute saying but i thought i could leave her little cute messages or she can leave positive notes to herself on this little board and so i picked this up from ross and it was um 9.99 so ten dollars her room is gonna be so cute you guys it's gonna be so cute and then another thing that i picked up for her which i originally wanted to do was like louis vuitton with the browns and the and the golds and the pinks um but then i decided that i would just order the louis vuitton pictures so i was in home goods and i found this set of three oh my gosh these are beautiful um these are by um this is a set of three tell your story frames and they're the nice chunky pink frames with the glass. These are so cute, you guys. And this picture in here is it's for an eight by 10. So you have that, but then you still have the glass. And this whole set of these three was $19.99. And so close the door, please, mama, was $19.99. And to go in them, I actually ordered the Louis Vuitton photos how many of these are there here it's three but i ordered i have four of these i have another frame for it but i got these from my helper is here you guys i actually got these from um amazon and so it's different louis vuitton prints there's one purse here's another purse she's saying hi okay that's good and then it's all just different Louis Vuitton purses with those yellow. These are so cute, you guys. Picked these up from Amazon. I ordered them so long ago, you guys. I don't even remember what I paid for them. I think it was like $20 for the four or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I will um, try and find it and I will link it in the description box for you below. But that's going to be so cute as well. And then I came across this one and it said, perfect is boring. <laughs> and I absolutely love this because she's a teenager and we need to let our teen. Okay, mama, go that way. We need to let our teenagers know that, you know, they don't, nobody's perfect. And um, in all their imperfections, they were made exactly the way God intended for them to be. And they're, they're still growing. They're, they're going to evolve, evolve into the person that God created them to be. And until they do, they just need to know that perfect is boring boring so i picked this up from home goods and it was 7.99 and in the pinks and gold so i absolutely love that and then you guys the piece de la resistance <laughs> i was actually shopping you guys hold a second put it down thank you come here i know you want to be my helper but i want you to go and find onto praise and so you guys look at this enjoy the little things when i saw this in the white and the pink and gold i could not believe it i found this at ross and it was 10.99 10.99 for this you guys enjoy the little things it was meant to be this was my confirmation that i was going in the right direction with her room um so i got that for her and then a couple of other pieces that i got to go just to see it in her room decor pieces to go on her shelves um from ross 
I got this for $5.99. It's actually a candle holder, but I won't use it as one. I probably will just sit it on the shelf as is. So I got that. And then I also got this. Um, it was $5.99. And I actually picked this one up from Home Goods, but I love it because it has the pink <laughs> bottom. Um, and then this, and I will actually use this guys for some of her chapsticks and things like that, um, that I'll put in there. You guys will see, you will see. So I got that. And then this other piece that I got, I got from Ross. Let me get it unwrapped so I can show you. But this is this pretty gold hand. It almost, um, it, it's really pretty, you guys. It kind of reminds me of like henna. Um, but I actually picked this up at Ross and it was $6.99. Um, but I also got this tray from Ross and it's just a white ceramic tray and it was $7.99. And I just thought that these would look so pretty layered together. And she can put her little trinkets in there, some of her rings and some of her bracelets and things there. So we'll see. That's how I'm gonna style it. So she is really into her rings and her her bracelets and things like that. Um, so I thought that would be really nice to set on her vanity um, with her cute little pink and gold chair. Um, it's, it's gonna be really nice. And what I love about her room, again, is that I can do it, and for now it's a teenage room, but I think it's gonna be so nice that even as an adult, I would love it. This um, I picked up from Ross, and you guys, it was on sale on clearance. It was just $4.99, but I thought that I could also sit this on her vanity with her lotions in it, of course, lotion. And I loved that it was the cream and the gold, and she'll just put her lotions in there for that, so I picked that up for that. And then, also, just because I love her and I want her to know that she's loved every day, I picked up this gold heart to also sit in her room. And this was at, from Ross for $7.99. And a couple more pieces in here. It's like Christmas in here. Oh my goodness, I was able. This is actually like a little cake stand, but it's in the white and gold. And how much did I pay for this? This was actually three dollars and 99 cent for this but i thought this was really cute also to sit on her vanity she can put also some of her rings or something on that as well we'll see when i start decorating the room we'll see i may find something else in her room and think oh that would be perfect for that and then you guys because we keep him at the forefront of our lives i had to get her this crystal cross and this is absolutely beautiful. And again, I got this at Ross and it was only $8.99. So this will go on her shelf. Just things that ground her and remind her of who she is and where she comes from. Knowing that Christ is the head of her life. Knowing that, you know, to enjoy the little things. Understanding that perfect is boring, um, you know the heart to to know that I, that you know that she's tremendously loved, um, and you know loved on purpose with a purpose. Um, so just all of the all of those things to just remind her of that. And of course, I will tell her that so that when she sees it, she will know exactly what it means. And then you guys because I've been doing this for a while. A couple more pieces. I also picked up this for some organization in her room. And this is just a clear pink little organizer. It's sectioned off. We'll put some of her things in there. Not sure what yet, but we're going to do that. And then you guys, during the fall season, I found these little pearl and pink with the brown stem pumpkins. And I grabbed these so quick. You guys, I, this isn't something that I will just sit in her room in the fall. Like, this is something that I would sit on her shelf and it would be there all the time. Like Cinderella, you know, turn into a chariot type thing. Um, but I, I've had these for so long, I don't even remember. But I got them from Ross, but I don't remember what I paid for them. But they were, they are so gorgeous and so dainty. So I picked up those. All right, now... 
last thing that I'm going to show you are, well, next to the last thing, I found this clock. I think I got it from Ron. Yep, $7.99 for this clock, and it's white with the gold numbering in it. It's a 12-inch wall clock, and um, this is absolutely so cute, so cute. And then I also picked up, you guys, I picked up several boxes of these um, Hollywood vanity lights. I'm going to put some on her vanity, and then most of them I'm going to use as that under shelf lighting so that some of the cubes in her shelving will actually light up. And these I got, actually picked these up from Five and Below. And they are battery operated. And so, five bucks, you guys. See that right there? Five bucks. And so, I picked up several boxes of those. And then, these are the ones that I picked up that I wanted to try to put over her vanity. And I actually picked these up from Home Goods. And they were $9.99, $10. But I like it because, here, let me take it out of the box and show you. This one is battery operated as well. But I loved it because it has the gold backing to it. So these will go under her shelf in the cute cubbies of her shelves. And then this one will go above her vanity in her room. Um, so that's that. Not. And then the next thing that I got was for, because she does have a lot of notebooks, no ma'am. She does have a lot of notebooks and things that she keeps her drawings and things in. So I also got this for her shelving and I got this from Ross and it was $8.99. So we have that as well. And then the next thing and the last thing that I'm going to show you today from her items is, no ma'am, you guys, my helper is about to get in trouble on camera. Go see Auntie Prey. And the last thing that I got is this really pretty shadow box frame and then these letters that spell out her name these were actually on her door and every time we opened her door it was cling 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 you know and that's it's been like that for longer than it should have been like a couple of years but I loved the letters love the letters and so I got a bright idea that if I took them off the door and then just put them in this like that I actually could make wall decor with it and so i found this frame i got it from home goods i don't remember what i paid for the frame um i want to say it was like 20 dollars for this frame but i put her lettering in there with some matting and it turned out really pretty so i love that so i think that is about it that is it i'll probably get some other things if you guys could see tigger right now he's going to get in trouble when i get off camera tigger Tigger, that's my daughter's cat. Louie, get down. Get down. Anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're inspired. Like I said, you guys, when I'm shopping, this looks like a lot of stuff, and it is a lot, um, but I do a little at a time. If I'm just out, so, and over a mass of months, like I said, I started collecting stuff way back in the fall. Um, but I'll just pick up stuff and I will put it away until, um, I'm ready to actually do the makeover. And so this is a lot, but I have collected things over time and I can't wait to share with you the room makeover. So keep your fingers crossed that it's the next video. If it's not the next video, cause there's a lot to do. There's, um, one of my pieces that I used to use as a buffet um, that I'm actually going to be painting and redoing that, but I'll take you along with me for that. I'm going to paint it for her room. Um, and then she has one of the tall laundry, not laundry, lingerie dressers in her room that I need to make over. And I'll be doing those two pieces as well. Um, but anyways, keep your fingers crossed. And you guys, I am going to add that DIY project to the end of this. And then after that, that'll be it for the video. And I'll say my goodbyes to you then. So this video is long, but I promised you a DIY and it's going to be short and quick. So let's get that done and I'll, and I'll tell you by at the end of it. All right. So let's go over and do the DIY.
Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to part two of this room makeover. You guys, don't forget, enjoy all the little things in life for truly it is the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.